looking a little bit better. How about once we finish dragging, so on drag and on drop, let's find the drop method. So if we go up here, let's look, we have start. Our drop method would be drag stop, which drag stop is dialog drag, drag stop. So I'm going to copy that and go back into our code. And we are going to literally just create quickly another function. And we're going to just call on dialog drag. And we'll have your on dialog drop. On dialog drop will then change the color back to whatever current color is, which is a perfect time for us to implement our um, our need to know basically, is it open or is it not open, right? But even though we do know it's open because we just dragged it, so well, let's not get too fancy. So I'm just adding the event itself really quickly. So literally what I did is I added the dialogue drag stop event in the exact same way as I did the dialogue drag. And then I'm having it call the dialogue drop instead of the dialogue drag. So once the dialogue drop ends, we should want to trigger which one? We want to trigger the color of when it, the background is open. So I'm going to copy that, or probably 